Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah, we can see now. Okay, so uh, let me just give you a brief about that uh, chart of accounts and then uh, I'll take you to the main account details. So here we have great Britannia chart of accounts, right? Under this we have specified few main accounts. So whenever you see this chart of accounts, right? Uh, it will be easy for you to understand what kind of company and how many accounts they are using. Uh, it's it looks like a financial framework, and you can even understand if there is something country specific uh, by looking at the if it is related to Chinese uh, China company, they might be having in you know, a separate. Uh, uh, I got a few sub, uh, separate main accounts and for French like that. So uh, today we'll try to understand uh, how to create this main account and what all fields are there uh, like uh, while creating the main account. So either you can create a main account by coming to the chart of accounts and click on new or else see the navigation part under general ledger. Under chart of accounts, main accounts. So these are the accounts which we have already created yesterday. Then I'll try to create a new account here. So uh, if you remember we have given some series or we thought to give uh, we have decided a number series like for assets. Uh, what is the number series? Uh, one series is for assets and two series for uh, liabilities, right? So like that uh, whenever this main account is mandatory, uh, even though it is uh, even though it is not mandatory, it is uh, required for you to create a main account. Like it will help you to identify the main account or like what is the purpose or for which account you have created. So let me create uh, one more account like uh, we have created uh, for cash, right? We'll try to create for one more uh, petty cash. And the name field, uh, will help you to identify the description of that main account and this will help you to identify with the unique number. So this the moment you give this 101 right, uh, you will not be able to create one more main account with the same uh, account number. It is unique for each and every main account. And then uh, under ledger you can see here main account type. Uh, if you remember uh, I have explained like uh, what is a profit and loss account and what is a balance sheet right under profit and loss you can see incomes and so incomes and expenses and again under balance sheet assets and liabilities uh, being an organization since uh, there will be n number of transactions uh, which may fall under expense or uh, revenue depending on the nature of the transaction uh, so for example if you, since we are creating the petty cash account it is asset account right so for that purpose we can uh, you can select it as an asset. See the if you select it as a revenue uh, it will directly comes under revenue and, and if it is an expense it will come under expense. In case if you don't if you select as a P&L uh, you see uh, revenue expense both uh, anyway these two accounts will come under a profit and loss account itself. If you don't want to specify. I think someone is on mute unmuted. OK, so if you don't want to specify uh, like uh, either it should be a revenue or expense or uh, in case if it is uh, just falls under a part of p and you can just select it as a p and account. Uh, and the same uh, logic applies to uh, assets and liability. 
if this if it is a specific uh, asset related you can give it as an asset because at times if you remember uh, like if there is something related to uh, opening balance account or any closing balance account you cannot specify whether it is an asset or something right but still it is a balance sheet item so at the, uh, that main account can be given under uh, balance sheet or uh, for example if there is something uh, uh, the closing balance of the previous month pnl account can become the opening balance of this uh, current month right so if you are creating a main account of that one instead of, it is neither revenue or expense it is just a uh, closing balance account then you can give it under a pnl account and if there is anything related to equity uh, that means any uh, equity is nothing but like owner's capital right uh, whatever the amount uh, uh, has been introduced by the capital uh, sorry by the company those uh, accounts related to those uh, fundings it will uh, come under the equity if you are creating anything account uh, related to equity that will you can select here as a equity and the total total is nothing but uh, see you, this profit and loss revenue expense balance sheet asset and liability equity all these are posting accounts that means uh, these will allow you to post transactions or we can say that while posting the transactions uh, whatever the accounts that you have uh, selected for these accounts only those accounts will get accounted uh, the rest of the accounts rest of the accounts in the sense like total so uh, if you uh, like in balance sheet uh, we will be having n number of assets right for example for uh, fixed assets we uh, have explained like uh, uh, in an organization there will be n number of fixed assets like for example 10 15 vehicles for each and every asset you will be creating a separate account in order to maintain in order to maintain any specific account to get the balances of all the balance of all the fixed assets you can create a main account saying that total assets account so if you select this total assets if you create a separate total assets account and if you give it as a total uh, the account will get created and whenever you want to pull any report right so while see the moment you select the main account as a type this totals uh, option will get enabled so i'll try to give what all accounts should form under the total assets account yeah. so it will ask from value to from to to value so for the time being i i'll just uh, give cash account yeah so i think it the total assets account has been already created but still i will uh, give till this uh, this one other assets let me try to create click on save so now uh, if you see here from 1 uh, 1100 to 1880295 there are n number of accounts will be there uh, like petty cash cash accounts receivable all this accounts balances yeah srinivas um, yeah. here if we consider from value they are uh, seven digits and two value uh, they are only uh, six digits so will the system accept in that case i mean the number format increased in from value no, no actually what happened uh, the chart of the accounts what we are using right here uh, see for uh, britannia company i have created i have given seven series and for this two value uh, these are existing accounts that means we, these accounts are already available in the global format so by default whatever uh, the accounts uh, we have given right those accounts will get selected and as you told 
here it is a seven series and here it is a uh, six series right uh, in case if there are any accounts uh, that is like between uh, see uh, for example um, how can uh, how should i show okay uh, instead of like this as you told if if it is related to shared chart of accounts uh, then uh, it will accept uh, whatever the balances that we have given right because in between if there are any accounts created uh, then even those accounts will also shown uh, but from value whatever we have given right from this account itself it will start Uh, I think I need to check this one because uh, the two value whatever I have selected, right? Uh, these accounts we have not created. These are already available, but this one from value, uh, this one we, which we have created. Uh, if you remember, we have created uh, these yes. three, right? Correct. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. These accounts uh, I have created, but uh, two value uh, it it is just showing as a six series, right? Uh, I'm not sure how does it uh, like uh, works, but in general, uh, if you give actually one, actually we should be giving the range. Yes, yeah, yeah, actually should. we should give the range, but actually I haven't created uh, so many accounts to yes, be the correct. range. Correct. If you, I have just created only three accounts and the two two different. Okay, let uh, let me just uh, try so to create one more account. No, no, no. In that case, I think we can go with the uh, um, existing one. Yeah, either existing ones or nine uh, will take one and then uh, six nines so that whatever the accounts that are created in between these um, uh, two numbers. That is also fine. That's what like yeah. I can we can select that as a series account. Uh, the confusion what happened like uh, yesterday while creating I gave them uh, seven series, but three yes, now yes. while yes. selecting I have selected uh, six series one. OK, so here. Uh, as you told, instead of uh, giving as a. Also, I should see like uh, what is a cash account that. Huh. OK, let me uh, select from this double one zero one eight zero. Instead of selecting uh, the accounts which I have created, I'll select. Yeah, double one zero uh, existing because uh, we haven't created uh, multiple accounts right to give the total account. So and I have selected what is the maximum one eight zero two nine five. So now the range between double one zero one eight zero to one eight zero two ninety five, whatever the accounts that we have created, right? Uh, given the balances of each and every main account of uh, uh, this range, it will be shown under one triple zero one zero one account. So whenever you pull any report uh, of the total assets by using the main account, then the range whatever we have given those balances it will be shown under this specific, specific account so uh, this total account uh, this, this total future is used only for totaling accounts uh, for example if there are in case if there is a company uh, there might be having a number of uh, products like uh, like biscuits or uh, chocolates if it is a britannia uh, there will be having a number of F FMCG products, right? For each and every product, you can create a separate account and you can create one total revenue account. So uh, if you create one total revenue account and if you select main account type as a total and if you give the totals uh, by giving the range, like whatever the FMC, uh, the list of the products uh, revenues you have, like uh, let's say you have uh, 10 revenue, 10 uh, sales revenue, uh, different, different uh, sales revenues. You can give all the 10 accounts and the balances of all those 10 accounts. It will be shown under the total uh, revenues account. And uh, this is something related to reporting. So. Let me try to select this as a. Reporting. 
and we'll see what is uh, what changes we can see. OK, wait one. So let me try to save this one, the one which I have created. I'll create a new uh, one more account. So uh, for reporting purpose or uh, for total accounts purpose, we haven't given any uh, separate uh, series or any range, right? I'll try to give anything that is after uh, seven series for. Seven triple nine. Or uh, instead of OK. Example anything related to reporting, uh, we will try to give any um, one. So, any uh, idea like uh, do you have a, have you ever used any reporting account? Reporting main account. Hello. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can hear. Yeah. Uh, do you remember any uh, reporting accounts that you have uh, given? I'll just try to uh, create any one reporting account specific. I just I'll try to get one any transaction uh, so that it will be easy. I'll just try to get a few examples uh, specifically related to reporting purpose, uh, but these accounts are used only for uh, while preparing the reports actually. Uh, like uh, to pull uh, if you uh, want to pull any reports, uh, then these accounts will be used uh, mostly like uh, anything related to balance sheet only, uh, but the uh, and this total and reporting rate, these are not uh, these accounts will not allow you to post any transactions. You, only these accounts will uh, allow you to post any transactions. Maybe like in uh, future, while uh, preparing any uh, rep or any like consolidation reports or anything as such, uh, we may come across any uh, if there is any requirement to create any separate reporting accounts. Then uh, we can discuss about that. Uh, but you just try to understand what is the purpose of total and what is the reporting and uh, the rest of the accounts. Because uh, the all these, even this total and reporting also, uh, this uh, total yes, uh, people use uh, the a few clients use, but reporting I'm not sure uh, we haven't come across uh, while any client using the reporting. Maybe uh, we if you get a chance, like we can explore. And the common uh, is also not mo most of them they don't use. Uh, most of them they use only this 
uh, because these are on daily basis transactions will be happening right so that's why while uh, creating the accounts these are these are used but total yes people a uh, few clients use because to get the balances and all so uh, let me see uh, what all options uh, it will show if i select it as a report and reporting type says it header and t header actually these we haven't used uh, the reporting okay yeah and uh, if you see under the main account category okay let me just come back to the the petty cash which i have created yeah. okay petty cash we have created right so if you see here main account type uh, by default uh, sorry we have we have given it as a asset so uh, by looking at the main category main account category uh, if you see cash is something related to asset and again under asset you will be having n number of uh, Hello. 